So, you want to animate cars. The first thing you need is a car to animate. This is a Dodge Viper model that I found on Blendswap, although Sketchfab is another great place to find free models too. You need to make sure that the car is properly set up to be rigged. Either the main car body needs to be one object, or as I've done, parent all the individual car parts to one empty. The wheels and brake calipers should each be their own separate objects. If you don't separate the wheels and brake calipers, then the brakes will spin round and round with the wheels, which for those of you who are less mechanically inclined, is not how brakes work. If the model you're using doesn't have separate brake calipers, then all you need is the car body and the four wheels. For everything to work properly with the car rig, each object needs to be named with the following naming scheme. I'll put each of the object names in the description box of this video so you can copy and paste them. The last thing we need to check is the origin point of the objects. That's the little orange dot you see when selecting an object. Unless whoever made the car is a complete moron, the object of each wheel should already be in the centre. However, the brake calipers often have their origin at the centre of the brake caliper model. For the rig to work properly, each brake caliper needs to have the same origin as the corresponding wheel. To move the origin, click on a wheel and then press Shift S. Cursor to select it. Then click on the brake caliper and in the object menu, click Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. Repeat these steps for each brake caliper. The origin of the car body should be in the center of the X and Y axis. However, on the Z axis, it should be at about the same height as the center of the four wheels. This is important because the rig allows us to animate the car rolling from side to side, as well as pitching and diving. To make this look realistic, the car needs to be pivoting at the correct point, which is usually in line with the wheels. The easiest way to set the pivot position is to select all four wheels, then Shift S, cursor to select it. Then either move the origin of the body with Object Menu, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor, or if you're using an empty, select the empty, then Shift S, Selection to Cursor. Although if you do this, you will need to do it before you parent all the car parts to the empty. The last of the preparation steps is to make sure that the car model is facing in the right direction. The easiest way to do this is to select the car body with the move tool. Rather confusingly, the car should be traveling in the opposite direction that the green arrow is pointing. Make sure the car is correctly rotated, otherwise the rig will not work. If you do have to rotate the car, make sure you apply the rotation to the car body and to the wheels and brake calipers. Control A, apply rotation. To generate the car rig, we're going to be using a free plugin called Rig a Car. I've included a link to download the plugin in the video's description, as well as a link to the official documentation page. Now to rig the car. Select the car body, wheels, and the brake calipers, then adjust up or down so that the wheels are roughly sitting on top of the green Y-axis line. Then making sure everything is still selected, press Shift A, Armature, Car Rig. This will place several bones in the scene. It is worth checking to make sure that the central bone is pointing towards the back of the car. Then in the Rig a Car tab, click Generate Rig. Now the car is fully rigged, ready to be placed in the scene and animated. When animating the car, the easiest method is to add a path where you want the car to drive, then make the car follow it with a follow path constraint. In the Rig a Car tab, you'll find a section with ground sensors. Make sure all of these are linked to the road. And don't forget to click the Bake Car Steering and Bake Wheels Rotation options for automatic wheel animations. Now all of the scene needs is some tactical keyframes on the car rig and follow path constraint, and it is finished. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing an animation tutorial as I'm always looking for new video ideas, so put any suggestions in the comment section down below. I'm uploading the scene to Graded Blue Render Farm, which is an online cloud rendering service that I co-founded. It's reliable, easy to use, and much, much faster than rendering on a desktop computer. And we charge much less than any other render farm. You can see how much it would have cost to render this scene with a competitor. Once the animation has finished rendering, I can add in some sound effects, do a bit of denoising in DaVinci Resolve, and do a quick color grade with Dehancer. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin, and if you're interested, you can get 10% off when you use the code Always Cinematic at checkout. And this is the finished result.
If you looked at the textures in the example scene and thought, there must be a way of getting better looking textures, there is. All you need is a dedicated texture painting program. So watch this video to learn more about the different texturing programs available and to find out which ones I recommend using.